Hello, welcome back. So today we're going to talk about conditional formatting again. As you can see a little bit here, I've got some highlighted cells. So in my first video I talked about these highlight and top bottom rules and that is currently what is applied. But in this video, it's not going to take as long, we'll talk about these right here. I think of these as kind of like an inline graph. Now they're best applied to numeric data. And so I've kind of already got this formatting going on, so let me clear this conditional formatting. There's a couple ways to do that. I'm going to show you one way, and then I'll show you another. I'm going to uh, select column E. And so one way to get rid of a conditional formatting rule is to head over here to the editing group under clear, and just clear formats, right? And that's going to get rid of your conditional formatting rules. And the reason that's good is my data is still there. I just don't have conditional formatting. The second way to get rid of conditional formatting is similarly to select the range. And now, this is kind of a cool thing to show you. It's definitely the harder way, but it's kind of cool. Under conditional formatting, you can always go to the rule manager. Right? And so you head over here and you can see, oh, there's that rule I created. And so I can select that rule, delete that rule, apply it, OK. and. That was just more steps, but now you've seen the rule manager. You can create rules from there, modify rules from there. That's as far as I'm going to go. All right, so let's look at the various graphical conditional formatting. Let's start with data bars. So I'm going to select the height column, and I want to apply data bars, right? It's called data bars. They don't, I mean, they have names, right? Like this is blue data bar. This is, right, blue data bar. The names are kind of meaningless. Um, so... I'm just going to pick one and we'll see what it is. That was a horrible choice. I immediately regret that decision. Uh, I am going to select the weight column and I'm going to do data bars. There's a good reason for that. So data bars, I'll show you what's happening. So what just happened is basically that is kind of a bar graph and you can see it's not great data, but the shorter or the smaller players have a lower bar and the taller player, the bigger, heavier players have larger bars. It's just like a bar graph, but it's kind of in line. I'm not a huge fan of these because it does make the data hard to read, but if there's a pretty wide range, it's a good way to really make the big values stand out and small ones stand out as well. The reason this was a poor choice for height is that they're all within about 10 of each other and they were all about the same height. Those are data bars. Let's now look at the height column. So that was data bars. Let's talk about uh, we might as well look at color scales. Color scales are pretty confusing the first time you see them. These do not have meaningful names. I always just apply the first one because I don't want to call it green, yellow, red, or whatever it is. I click that, and what the heck just happened? I scroll up, and what the heck? So I will show you what happened. And to illustrate what did happen, the best way to do that is to sort the data. So I'm going to apply filters. I'm going to sort it. And then we're going to see some magic happen. Oh, now you can see what happened. Right, so the lowest values are red, and the highest values are green. Right, and everything in between is yellow. A lot of data to look at, but that's what a color scale is. Kind of cool thing to do. Um, there's a time for it. Uh, so let's look at the last of the graphical ones. And notice that there's a rule here which I need to get rid of first. So I'm going to select the range. And let's do this the easy way. Let's just clear the formatting. Now let's apply the third kind of graphical conditional formatting. So not data bars, not color scales, but icon sets. Icon sets are relatively uh, arbitrary. Just the idea, it's, a, it's kind of a combination of both of them. Let's click on this one. It's called Five Arrows Colored. Here's just plain old Five arrow, Arrows. They all have their own unique sets of names. Here's five arrows colored. Notice that made my data really unreadable, so I'm going to widen that column out a little bit. And so what it did is it divided it into percentiles. So the bottom fifth has down arrows. The the, uh, two, the second bottom fifth has that arrow. Right? It's shapes. I don't know how to explain that, but you can kind of see what happened. The top values have an up arrow. And so those are icon sets. So you can see... Those are all conditional formatting. These in spirit are quite a bit different than these. These are going to be used to target select cells. This is going to be used to take the whole range and just give it some graphical meaning. And, and maybe you can imagine some places where this might be a better choice, this might be a better choice, this might be a better choice. Um, it's a kind of a nice way to get kind of the effect of a graph without a full-blown graph. 
So that was my second video on conditional formatting. Of course, as I mentioned in the last video, there's some pretty uh, elaborate rules which you can create down in here in the rule manager and through new rules. Uh, some of the more difficult problems that I've ever seen have been rule oriented. But uh, most times what you're looking for is just as simple as just kind of clicking the correct menu option. Of course, let me just mention this as well. If you ever do need to modify, let's say, an icon set, I select that range, I go to Manage Rules, you can edit the rules. And I, you can imagine we could spend 20 minutes poking around this dialog box. And so you can change how you want to break them, where you want to break them, what the rule is, what image you want displayed. I mean, you can make an absolute mess if you wanted to. And I will. Is this a good idea? Uh, I don't think so. But you can do whatever you want. Now you are familiar with conditional formatting. Thanks for watching.